Good afternoon mga kasabay and welcome to Paco Arena City of Manila This is Game 3 of the Best of 3 Semifinals UNTV Cup Season 10 Win and win, win in sports, win for charity Let's meet the Procatrogas first for the Agriculture Food Masters Number 0, Marlon Kalau Number 7, Walter Bonavista Number 10, Ian Garrido Number 16, Sean Gore Number 18, Eric Sevilla Number 20, Brian Mastelero Number 23, Jay Mariano Number 24, Achan Wong Number 30, E.J. De Guzman Number 42, Lester Lee Number 67, Sherwin Silva Number 73, Julius Kasaysayan Number 77, Michael Lim And number 89, Jay Gomer Chasse Head coach for the Good Masters, Jocas Castillo As this is by Randel Patricio and now let's meet your AFP Cavaliers! Number 2, Sergeant Jeff Yambao. Number 8, Private First Class Boy Bautista. Number 9, Sergeant Mark Salupano. Number 12, Master Sergeant J.R. Castro. Number 13, Technical Sergeant Mel Mendoza. Number 16, Private First Class Kid Rosopa. Number 20, Airman First Class Romeo Almeron. Number 27, Airman First Class Darwin Cordero. Number 29, Airman First Class Francis Regalado. Number 32, Senior Chief Winston Serio. And number 66, Stop Sergeant Wilfred Casulia. Playing coach for the Cavaliers, Jeff Yambao, assisted by Eugene Tan and Winston Serio. And now let's meet the starters for the Agriculture Food Master. At center, number 10, Ian Garrido. Point guard, number 0, Marlon Kalau. Shooting guard, number 30, E.J. De Guzman. Small forward, number 16, Sean Cole. And power forward, number 73, Julius Kasai Sayad. And now the starters for your AFP Cavaliers. At center, number 9, Mark Salupado. Point guard, number 27, Darwin Cordero. Shooting guard number 12, J.R. Castro. Small board number 20, Romeo Almeron. And power board number 2, Chep Yambao. Our officials for this game are Roel Tolentino, Giorgio Belnas, and Edric Chico. This is the UNTV Cup Season 10 Semi-Finals on the Gate of Sports and Charity! And there you have it, ang ating po mga bida na pakilala na. But before we go deep into this game, we'll turn you over to Ms. Rina for this report. Yes, uh, Sir Chiki, what separates uh, the DA Food Masters on their last game against AFP Cavaliers is that they have a bigger desire to win that ball game. They were just doing exactly as Coach Jokas was telling them to be more aggressive when it comes to running their defense, to be able to think well and to react, be able to react fast on the ball game and to go for sure baskets there. Being a newbie here, they're up to the challenge to prove themselves that they are worthy for a finals experience as well. Now, I spoke with the two best players from last ball game, Sina Shanko at si EJ de Guzman. EJ de Guzman was telling me that they should have the underdog mind mindset coming into this ball game meaning to say that they believe that this ball game will not be given to them a walk in the park by the AFP Cavaliers that's why they have to give their 200 percent best sa larong ito meanwhile for Shanko this battle is about whose team wants it more that's why they have to go out there and defend like there's no tomorrow Chiki back to you maraming salamat sa'yo Rina and as you were reporting that I was looking dun sa DA, no? Coach Ronnie, sabi nila underdogs. But you know what? I saw the AFP Cavaliers stick like glue to Sean Ko and EJ De Guzman. Ay, nabala yung bola. That is a triangle and two formation. Oh. Initially, I thought it was a box and one. Pero triangle and two. Yung simulang defensive team para dito sa AFP. Naka-triangle yung tatlo, naka-stay home ang dalawa. Dahil nung last game na, no? Nag-combine ng 52 <laughs> points. Yung dalawang yan. 52 points. Meanwhile, ball pressure was the main instrument used by DA to get a ticket to a rubber match. Uh, importante naman dito yung uh, pressure release at press break para sa AFP. Penetration at first two-pointer coming from Castro, the best player of the game. Sa 
Game one of the series, laban ni sa Food Masters. And for two straight plays, the triangle and two seems to be doing well. At medyo natural throw off ngayon dito. Nang kaunti, ah, ang hula ko lang dito sa DA. Natural unless they hit this one. At yan ang pwedeng pambasan doon, coach, ano? Naniniwala rito ang uh, AFP na willing sila for the others to try and beat them. As kasaysayan, near the first three-pointer for one point lead. De Guzman recovers. Call missing at point blank. 3-2. Foodmasters, dapat dito ng isa. First quarter action. Put back by Kimbao. One more. No. One more. Wala. Isa pa. Wala. Apat na attempts in one possession for the Black Shirts. Meantime, De Guzman cradling that ball. And he is going to get, I believe, a pair of free throws. That's the best open court player at your doorsteps. Next best probably, Darwin Cordero. So these are the two best transition players that we have here this season. De Guzman, almost unstoppable in the game two na panalo. For the record, De Guzman. Para dito sa team ng ombudsman, ra uh, rather sa team ng uh, DA. 20 ilang puntos ba to? 30. Wow! Hindi 20 plus, 30. 30. Sanko, 22. And 10 rebounds. Makalaya mo yun, Coach. May git kalahatin natin ang output. Yes, yes. Yung dalawang nag-ambag. These are the two, uh, two top players that we have here this season, hands down. Bola ngayon ng AFP na kay Kiambaw ang bola. Shot locked down to nine. Mano y mano against Garido. Good defense by Ian. He was also a key figure dun sa panalo ng uh, Woodmasters last time that these two teams played. That was just uh, last Sunday. Marlon with a miss. Dar goes back with a bucket. Again, De Guzman and Cordero. Two of the top players that we have this season. Numbers, value, performance. 30 points para kay De Guzman, 20 yun din naman para kay Cordero. Uh-oh, Sean Cole did realize, Coach, that yung kanyang, uh, kanyang kanang paa ay biglang bumalik sa bakuran, sa kabilang bakuran. It's a team that only had 12 turnovers in 40 minutes, talking about agriculture. Right now, they have three in the first five possessions. Aray ko. And that's three turnovers in the first three minutes. Well, it's not in seven minutes before we end the first. Castro hits the J. They took a look at what happened, how they lost. They took a look at how the Foodmasters strategized against them. Right now, AFP finding easier ways to score. Unlike nung uh, nakalipas na laro, na si Cordero lamang tangi yung nakalibre ng gusto para sa kanila. And Kasaysayan has been moving well without that ball being rewarded with another bucket. Nobody defending Kasaysayan. Eh, isa rin sa pinakamagaling na player nila. Now with five points. Hindi umubrang ball fake ni Mark. Babalik sa kabilang bola. Sean has it. Chopping it off. EJ underneath and he scores. We saw that teamwork. We saw that combination many times over. Just last Sunday. It was either De Guzman to Shanko or Shanko locating De Guzman for an easy bucket. It's a 7-6. One point lead rather for Agri here. For DA. Salupado. Four to shoot. Kick out to Cordero. Oh, Dar asking for a foul. Didn't get a whistle. Meantime, Saisayan, lead pass. De Guzman, sinipat, wala. They did not have the numbers. It was three against five. Good transition defense for AFP in that last sequence. Five and a half remaining first quarter. Ganun kabilis yung ating laro dito. Up and down we go. Almerol open for that J. Then he missed it. Better execution for the Cavaliers here in game three. They take it out. Sean Cole out to Kalao Marlon. So AFP dodging bullets here. Mm. 
Paulo Calao. <laughs> ano yung term mo kanina, coach? Pardagulan. <laughs> Aasahan na natin yan, eh, no? Literally. Oh, this is blood, sweat, and tears to get to the finals. The Cavaliers, they know that, actually. Agriculture, that's their investment. Dating back to uh, day one of our season 10. 10th year of the UNTV Cup. A lot of uh, beneficiaries benefiting from uh, the winnings of our UNTV Cup teams since 2013. It's been a long time. It's over a decade already. Yes, I'm already a long time. Now, I'm just a long time. Paul. Salt and pepper. Na oh, not even. <laughs> maganda, maganda naman. Just na pepper. Right? <laughs> and look at that. The celebration of Garrido says it all. Garrido hurt his chin or jaw in the third quarter of game number two. Rested for about a quarter, but when he came back, he was all business. He finished in double figures at about eight fourth quarter points that helped them out. Extricate from a difficult situation as AP fired a fourth quarter of rising. We've heard that so many times, coach. You don't poke the bear. Dahil pag nasasaktan minsan, no, the, the inner beast comes out. In time! Three throws will go the way of Mark Salupado. AFP took 20, 25 shots from the three ball in game number two. I don't think that is going to be the threat for them as they have time and again been able to get inside the restricted zone, attack the basket, and go for high percentage looks. Pero dito coach's first quarter after going six points to AFP, merong 6-0 run dito ang uh, DA. Nakatakbo eh. No, oh, eh. That lead is down to two for the food masters. As I said, is playing the starting role here. For the food masters, they want to go back inside to the big fellow, and Ian will go back to the free throw line. That's the advantage, really, pagkaroon ng pagkaroon ng cross match, and definitely that was a cross match against Almerol. In game number two, Garrido was perfect from the line at four out of four, finished with twelve points. As a team, they were fifteen of twenty-four, good for about sixty-two and a half percent versus. Nine missed free throws para sa AFP at 57%. First is good for Ian. Already with three points and three boards. Pangalawang free throw is up and also good. Apa na putos para sa centro ng food masters. The centro ng kahusayan. Uh oh. The centerpiece, the focal point, the best frontline player for them. Open shot. That baseline J won't work for Alme. Press break is okay. Execution is okay. Accuracy is not so far for AFP. We're down to 30% and 3 out of 10 here in the first 6 minutes of this contest. Almost stolen there by De Guzman. Cordero goes in. Had to go deep. She do. Salupado, wala. Tatakbo ngayon si Sean. Naago ni Castro. JR. Open J again. This time it goes in for Salupado. One of the best players coming off the bench. Unforced turnovers will always hurt. And that led to a basket on the opposite end. They down to two here para sa food masters. Only one team will be rewarded. That is the sad part. 
in a series. And uh, this has been a uh, classic series. Pretty much the same way we saw itong SSS uh, through a heartbreak doon sa kanilang katunggali na Ombudsman Grafbusters na panalo na doon sa game number two. Subalit na talo pa. Up by double figures late in the fourth only to lose and uh, be swept by the Kabalikas who will earn their first stint in the finals after about four or five years here in the UNTV Cup. And uh, game one of the finals, Coach, sa Abinti sa Isna Kanyo. Sa Navadesi. That's on Tuesday. So mark your calendars. That's a power move coming from De Guzman. Averages about 24, 25 points per, per, per game. But when they need it, he can easily get to the 30 point mark. Bonus free throw is good. Five points for De Guzman. Five for Kasaysayan, five for De Guzman, four for Garrido in a three pronged attack. 49. Foodmasters up by five. Three minutes, 18 seconds to go here in the first chapter. Mark. Ipinasa pa yan. Balik sa lupada. Wala. Ito na si Kasaysayan. Sean throws it and hits his first field goal. Again, off a turnover. That's a basket almost coming. Kanina tumayang mo itong agri dahil dumikit ang AFP. Pagkatapos ang kanilang October. After the timeout was called, this is a 6-0 run. The Houston advantage to an 8-point lead. 3 minutes and some change here in the first. Pagkatulad ng gano'n, nag-return over lang tayo. Paikutin muna natin. Open, paikutin muna natin. O gawin natin early to open. Ha? Para hindi rin tayo mapa mapagod ng kabalik ng gano'n. Mapagod din sila sa atin para dumipensa sila. O, malinaw tayo. O, let's go. We're back here in Paco Arena para po sa nag-iisang laro ng ating UNTV Cup Season 10 for the right to face ang SSS Kabalikat para po sa kampiyonato, sa championship ng UNTV Cup Season 10. Chiki Reyes and Coach Ronnie Magsanok. Lama ngayon ang Agri, 17 against 9. Bautista and Corks a 3. Wala. After, after timeout plays are so important, diffuses the tension, increases your confidence. At yun ang nagawa ng Foodmasters kanina kasamang Chiki. Kaya lumamang sila ng walo pagkatapos habulin sila at naibaba ang kanilang abante sa tanging dalawang puntos. Balik ang bola dito sa AFP. And good power play inside for Rosopa. And they need his presence. They need his coming. Right now, perimeter touch para sa black shirts. Kulang na kulang. A serio. Might be sent in. Surely. Ayun na nga, Coach, ay sa uh, si Winston fixing his jersey, his uniform. Approaching the two-minute mark of the first. Underneath, nasupalpan itong si Cordero. It's gonna be AFP ball. Oh, no, it's gonna go the other way. Cordero has taken three attempts, has made one. Has to be at his best today. Ganon din si Boyd Bautista. Lalong lalo itong si Almeron with 0 out of 4 right now to open up the first. As we have gone already with the first 8 minutes, rather as the first 8 minutes is already done, gone and over with. And that triangle and 2 continues here for AFP. Nakatao ang Cavaliers kay De Guzman. And ko sabi ni Kalaw, no problem, I got it. For whatever reason, it seems that they have figured it out. Mga players na hindi binabantayan ay nakakashoot. Katulad ni Kasaysayan at ngayon ay si Kalaw. And that is their third three-point basket for a nine-point lead. That's so the number of points that they are ahead here. Laban sa Cavaliers. Turnover for the back shirts. Picked up here by Marlon. Marlon hurrying. Gets it to EJ. Inside to Wong. Good defensive stop. They needed that. Baskets are not coming. Defense has to be better, and that's, of course, referring to the AFP Cavaliers. 
And Coach, uh, DA Foodmasters, they're dictating the tempo here, ano? Ano eh, basta nakatakbo, mahirap ka laban. Oo, eh. Bata eh. Cordero cross court. Open jumper, another bucket for Rosopa. And that was a screen assist coming from Boyet Bautista. Simple flare screen. And Rosopa up to the task with that short corner conversion. Lead down to seven from a high of nine. Kalau. Not this time. 45 seconds to go before we end chapter one. Serio? Now to Cordero. Regalado looking for the big guy. Boyet. Shot knocked down to 10. Cordero asking for a screen. Shot knocked down to 6. Kit underneath. Voila. DA, they have a chance to write the last sentence on this chapter. They go to Wong. Baseline J is good for Silva. And that lead goes up to nine. And that first quarter, Coach Ronnie, obviously belonging to the Foodmasters. No doubt. Well, early on, Lamang Pang AFP. But after, itong Agri overtook them. There was no looking back. Biggest lead, nine points. AFP needs to recover. They have to play better offense because right now, Agriculture has figured their defense out. 22-13 at the first quarter. We'll be right back. back here in Paco Arena in Manila as we bring you the second quarter of the semi-finals match between DA Foodmasters and the AFP Cavaliers. Chikirias with Coach Ronnie Magsanok on board and to start the second quarter Coach Ang Agri Lamang ng Champ 22-13 as we turn you over now to Miss Rina for this report. Yes sir, Shiki, one of the guys uh, that I spoke with the AFP Cavaliers is Boyet Bautista who's been with us since UNTV Cup Season 3. No? He was telling me earlier na ang dami nilang pinagdaanan for this season but they have proven to be one of the teams here that's really unshakable. The spirit is strong, the mind is strong. Yun lang ang kalaban nila. The body is no longer strong compared to seven years ago when he started here. I asked him if he sees himself coaching one day for the AFP Cavaliers at sabi niya sa akin, hindi. Kasi mas gusto daw niya yung maglaro. Mas masaya siya sa paglalaro talaga. At hanggat kaya daw niya, maglalaro siya for the AFP Cavaliers. You know, the pressure is so big at his hands right now. Dahil isa rin siya dun sa mga veteran players ng kanilang kupunan. Palagi silang may one-on-one -on -one ni Coach Eugene Tan on what is expected from him. And going into this ball game, they have to compensate with the energy and speed of a younger team. And lastly, to play it with pride and bring out that heart of a champion within them. Chiki, back to you. Then report ni Miss Rina, when the going gets tough, you really go to your vets and obviously Boyd Bautista is sa pinakamatitibay na veterano rito. Gusto ko yung pagkakasabi ni Rina, balak mo bang mag-coach one day? <laughs> Hindi. Hindi. Capital H. <laughs> Hindi. Lanaro na lang daw si Boyd. In time, Winston Serio turning back the hands of time. Napangiti si Shanko. Taken to school by that blow by move coming from uh, once upon a time one of the biggest scorers in the years of the UNTV Cup. Sean, Nasunduta ni Boyet. Bautista has it. Serio running with him. And Winston, oh. unfortunately, will miss that layup. It was Rosopa who was keeping them in the game with six points off the bench. Open is Silva. Corner J. And not too many black shirts are running down on offense. This is the start here so far for last year's finals MVP. They need him at his best today. 20 plus points probably for them to pull through. Castro at four early points has to be sent back in. At yung report na ni Rina, no, Coach Roni. The spirit is willing, but I guess the legs are not as solid as... They used to be for the Cavaliers. Major huffing and puffing for my opportunity to go on the break. 
Ang kaibahan dun sa game 1 at game 2, ang tagal ng pahinga at ang tagal ng preparasyon. Ito, konting-konti lang ang oras. As Ajahn Wong bulldozes his way inside for another 9-point lead. Now, on the other end, after that bully ball of Wong, Castro hits a three. So, regular na man to man defense na ito para sa AFP. Kasaysayan, binapantay ni Bautista. At ito na yung... Uh, That's a double foul. Kiskisan sa ilalim. Komersyase. And regalado. Regalado. Well, yung napapanood po ninyo, no? kung nakikita yung uh, slow mo, hindi po cha-cha yan. Yan na yung pinapakita na po namin yun. Hindi po swing yan. <laughs> yung kanilang posisyonan na uh, sukbitan.
Ayun na. Nung huddle nasa side ng Food Masters. Yes. Ano, nandun eh. In the course of a 40-minute game, the highs and lows, the momentum swings always happens. That's why it's difficult to coach. Hirap, Because no? you manage your emotions, you take a look at what's needed to be done, adjustments that they are needed to be able to come up to dif difficult situations. Then they are in a difficult situation right now. Dahil nakarecover ang AFP. Nice pass there by Cole. And that's a bucket courtesy of Mastenero. Another OG from Ershase. Nasa Isaya. And Mastenero. Cordero hitting that elbow J. Right now, full denial naman laban kay Castro. But Cordero answering the call. Finally scores after just accounting for two points in the first ten minutes. It's going to be a foul call against Almerol. Trying to prevent Garrido from getting that inside track. Looking at the point production here of both teams. Sabila, si Castro ang gumagawa dito naman sa sa white shirt. Si Kasaysayan, ano coach, siya ang leading the attack here. Now it's the turn of the Guzman to ask Katsas and take over. Seven for Sean Cole. They needed that. Two possession lead para sa kanila. Talk about degree of difficulty. Madali ang itsura, pero mahirap gawin. 40-36. Masters up by four. Bola ng AFP. Shot knock down to five. Nasa na doon ang pinto si Cordero. It's gonna be a travel. That's a three-point team already. Marido locking down the spin and then Mastelero came to the weak side. Wala nang makita. Itong si Cordero. The beauty and the timing the blind side. Kabisado na nila. Pag, basta naglalo ka talaga sa serie, napakahirap. Uh -oh. Kasi makakabisado mo yung kalaban eh. Exactly. Kalao dropping it off to Garrido and it's paid off. It actually paid off. But it was Mastelero who made the initial play. This penetration. And then the pass. And then the finish. And then back to a six point lead. Ang ganda ng mga short passes, ano coach? Interior passing, masikip man o ano? Kaka muubre. Assist number nine para sa Food Masters on 17 made field goals. So every two shots that they have converted have come from extra passes. Picked up here by Almerol. Foul will be called on Mastelero. Or team foul para sa kanila. 91 seconds left. Timeout called here by the AFP. 1.31 to go. In the second, lamang pa rin ang Agri. 42.36. A minute and 31 seconds remaining here in the first half. Ani mga bante ng Food Masters, 42-36. Maagang lumamang ang AFP, pero mula dun sa maagang mga minuto, nananatili silang nagahabol hanggang sa kasalukuyan na 91 seconds na nalalabi dito sa ating first half. Shot lock down to 9. Cordero at court sa 3, nothing there. Difficult shot. Kalao setting up the table here. Garrido. Oh my. I love that move. 
jump step muna, no, coach, to get the balance. Oops, and Sean come with a takeaway, but with a miss. Ball goes back to the AFP. Could have been back to a 10-point lead para dito sa Food Masters. Mark goes in. Picked up by Marlon. Marlon feeds it. Back to go, but there was a foul called against the Blackshirts. Mastelero, Comerciase, all heart. Grabbing the chance and every opportunity given the floor time. The coach Jokas, dal bihira natin mag makita maglaro ito mga to throughout the season. But they have done well, made the right decisions. That's the result. Mula sa dalawa, pumalo muli sa walo ang kanilang kalamangan. Come missing the first of two free throws. He has a total of seven points. That's behind the eight of Garrido and Julius Casaysan who started offense going para dito sa Foodmasters. Balance scoring nga, no? Oh! Oh, how often do you see Sean Kong miss both free throws? Cordero. Now in Salupado. Inside! He'll get two free throws. Second personal foul of Marlon Kalao. Now it's gonna be Rosoba who will hit the bench. Boy and Bautista will be coming back in. So on AFB, sacrificing a little bit of height. Kemba will play the fourth spot. Another fight spot. Or let's see if Salupado or Castro will be the power forward. Konti na lang naman na nalalabing oras dito. Tatlumput apat na segundo. Baba sa isang minuto. Mark that's, hits both. That's the difference. Shanko missed both. Mark hit both. Lead down to six from a high of 11. Earlier it was just down to two points. Difference of nine seconds from the game clock and the shot clock. Picked up by Mastelero. Wala. Now with Cordero. They're gonna run. Three on two break. Castro opting for a three. Not that time. Big stop. Kalao for three. Nope. De Guzman throws it. <laughs> he had the right idea. He had the right idea, pero hindi na pumasok, coach. But they have the right idea, which is to stay ahead of the Cavaliers. Putting pressure on AFP. Limiting the Cavaliers to this low in terms of uh, two quarter scoring. And this will be all she wrote in the first half. He'll still be down by six. Cavaliers, our defending champions, behind by two possessions. Footmasters 44 in P and 38. And the third quarter has begun with the Agriculture DA Foodmasters up by 6.44 to 38. Before the discussion, we'll turn you over to Arena for the Naglalak support. Naglalakad po eh. Hinihintin pa ng konti. Pero ito, magre-report na tayo about these two teams right now. Umpisa natin with the AFB Cavaliers. All they need to do for the second half is to stay focused. They have to defend well and they have to focus hard to commit themselves to the last 20 minutes of action here. At kailangan lang mag-communicate sila inside the court. Kung mapapansin nyo, napakabilis din ang player rotation ng kanilang kupunan dahil mabilis din silang hingalin sa tindi ng takbuhan ng laro against the DA team. But what they're bringing here is that they have the experience, especially on the outside uh, shooting. No? Dito naman sa DA, it's all about consistency for the team. Continuing to dominate in the running game. They have to deny Castro of the ball. Yan talaga specifically ang sinabi sa kanila ni coach uh, Joe As Castillo. And also be aware of what Boyet Bautista and uh, Darwin Cordero can bring in for the game, especially on crunch time. Back to you. Thank you, Rina. Parang chess match oh, ang ating ako, chess. Stay home, labang kay Castro, balik naman sa triangle N2 para sa Cavaliers. So let's see, ano, kung uh, makokontain na nila si Castro erupted for 14 points in right, the first right. half. And kept them in the game. Two turnovers to open the third para dito sa white shirts. De Guzman has to take that shot. 
gotta give credit to Mark Salupado for the good trail jump and then picking the pocket of Sean Ko. Yan talaga ang kabayo nila. Toro Brid. Literally. Pero ito ang kamador nila sa fleet maliban kay uh, Cordero, itong si Castro. 8.50 remaining in the third quarter, just a six-point lead. Turnover for the Black Shirts again. Garrido has been a difference maker. Told you. Oh, you gotta love that. You gotta love how De Guzman just bullied his way in, coach, against Kimbao. That's a power point guard, really. Para si Cordero, dalawa sa pinakamalakas ng mga guardia. Salubano sa may baseline. Kimbao at Cork sa three, positionan sa ilalim. That's a foul on Cordero. That will be Cordero second foul. Two personal fouls para kay Tomerciase, two personal fouls para kay Calaw, two personal fouls para kay Cordero, dalawa rin kay Regalado at kay Salupado. At kay Almeron. And the Guzman is doing it on both ends of the floor. Yan ang tapatan mula sa game number one. Ah, nauna yung ano yata nung pag... Pwesto sa likod. And I could see Boyet Bautista <laughs> sabi niya kay uh, Sir Ate ko, hindi po ako yun. <laughs> hindi po ako yun nagre-reklamo. <laughs> Labas kay Kalaw, just a two-point shot. If it goes in, wala. Darwin has it. Cordero on the move. Wow. Cordero with the bucket. Two points in the first quarter. Two points in the second quarter. Two points here in quarter three, but he has to do more. Has to do more for them to come out on top. De Guzman. One and done with that offense are the white shirts. Tatak mo si Cordero looking ahead. He was blocked by Kalau. Oh. That is the third personal foul on Cordero. And that's a concern. It's all about premium on defense, Kasamang Chiki. And normally, in a series, that is what counts. Dito tayo mananalo pag pinasok natin yung bola. Kasi kumukulabs eh. Rumeria hindi lang dapat yung mga nasa perimeter natin. Okay? Pare, uulitin ko. Walang kwesto, mashoot nyo yung 3 points. Pero pumunta mo tayo sa kumpiyansa natin. Okay. Maraming atake sa sa loob. Pare. Seven twenty-nine remaining in the third quarter. Still a six-point lead here for the Food Masters. But unfortunately, dahil sa magandang depensa ni Marlon Kalau na kasungkit pa siya ng pangatlong foul. Complete ng sa pagdero, and then complete the defensive stop. Again, those that have played on a higher level and those who have played in this difficult situation such as this, na alala yan. May recall para tay yan. Alam magreact. Alam magisep. Kasi sanay na sa ganong sitwasyon. Yes. Totoo yan. Kasaysayan. Missing that jumper rebound secured by Boyet. They need to produce a, a basket here. Oh, they have here. the numbers. Offensive foul on Salupado. First, it was Kalao. Now, it's Shanko. Simple lang lumalabas to kasamang Shiki. Kaya namin kayong bantayan. Kayo ba? Kaya nyo kaming bantayan. Uh Oo. -oh. Yung talaga yung tanungan dun eh, no? Kaya, kasi Riz, ganun talaga. Kaya ang hirap pag yung uh, kontrapelo mo yung natapat sa'yo. Kasi mumultuhin ka nun. <laughs> Tapos, maski anong isip mo, hindi mo magamot. Tsaka yung sabi mo, Coach, di ba? Yung uh, period of adjustment, talaga ngayon. Eh, dahil dikdikan to, mali. Buti sana yung finals, mahaba-haba pa ang pahinga bago... Ito, sandali lang eh, di ba? Oo eh. Naglaro ng Sunday. Ano na ngayon? Thursday? Ito na ulit eh. Kick out, Garido. 
Oh, he has that. He loves that. 12 points in game number two. 10 points here in game number three. To lead all food masters. And they force a turnover. And that turnover was is, actually unforced. Pa. Is it a complete turnover? Yes, yes. it is. Kasi coach, ang ginawa ni Contero, eh. sinipa na lang yung bola dahil mapupulot eh. Mapupulot ni Silva. He will stay with the white shirts. You can sense that a telling run is going to be pivotal in this type of a game. Mm -hmm. Isang run lang, mahirap ng balikan. Garido likes the opening. And Kasaysayan is really just... Oh, that's the fourth. Oh, no. I'm not sure if that's frustration written on the face of Darwin there. Six points. Three rebounds, three assists, one steal. Four turnovers, four personal fouls for last year's final MVP and last season's member of the Mythical Five. So now they'll be forced to sit down Cordero. So it's going to be the trio of Bautista, Salupado, and Castro. Almerol has to, has to start scoring. Yung pa, too late. pa. Oh, oh. Apang ito naman, coach, na si Kasaysayan. Julius has been doing well. Just lurking around the area, getting those loose balls there. Laking bagay, siya yung nag-secure ng second possession. Eh. Uh -oh. That was nine points. Seven in the first quarter alone. Kanina, De Guzman Cordero. Ngayon, Bautista versus De Guzman. Tignan mo naman bumantay, ang lalayo. Oh. Almerol had to throw up a prayer. Silva. Garrido goes in. And that space is still huge for Ian. Good time out here called by Coach Susan Tan. Quad flat footed. Top player on the bench. Down 11. Their biggest deficit once again. Established by the other team. They have to regroup. They have to recalibrate as we're about to hit. Halfway mark of our third quarter. Five fifty one remaining here in the third quarter. Ian Garrido and the rest of the Food Masters have built an 11 point lead against the AFP Cavaliers 51 40. And those who are looking for Darwin Cordero, unfortunately, he has to sit down with four personal fouls. Silva called for that foul, requesting or seeking the help of the ref. Nahinuk daw siya. Cavaliers in a basket. They're over the limit. Their best player has four fouls. At dito sa ating uh, third quarter, itignan natin ang talaan ng ating dalawang teams. 44-38 tayo nagtapos. 7-2 here in the third. Another run there. As you mentioned, Coach Bautista. Missing. Ito na mga kabayo, kasamang CK. De Guzman goes up and scores! Running like a thoroughbred. Apat na dribbles lang from the backcourt. And he's gone. 13 point the biggest para sa kanila. Salupado stops the bleeding there. Rafty. Salupado now with a total of 7 points. Again, I'll say this. As a matter of fact, has to do more. Oh, we've covered the game together, Coach. Si Salupado naging... Uh, Best player. Oh, oh. Sila ni Castro na yung kumakamada rito eh. 
But then again, how do you stop a person who is in the zone? The mid-range game is on here for the Guzman and that is double trouble for the Cavaliers or behind once again by 13. Salopado looking for help. Regalado, pinatiro ng tres. Wala. Hindi makawak ng bola si Castro kasi naka-full denial eh. Alam mo ba na ang hirap gumawa ng patterns para makahawak yung iyong mga players pag ganyan ang defense. Oo. Sasabit mo sa screen or gagawin mo screener or gagawin mong decoy. Para Tayo na pagka-option na, no? Oh, yes. They're gonna push it. Cavaliers. Bautista and Corks a three. They needed that from Boyan. Three-point basket, number four para sa Cavaliers. Oh, number five. That's 15 of the 45 points. 33% of their total output coming from the long ball. 55-44 as you mentioned. Sean Coe for that three. Wala. Rebound Salupado and they'll call this one against Silva. 13 foul para sa kanila. Masakto yata sa ano, no? Sa mata. So that will be the third team foul of the TA. Mastanero comes in, Sean Ko Pumuna. Sa mga play ng dalawang sunod na three ball, itong si Sean Ko. Minsan kahit veterano, pag na-excite ka, mahirap, no? Oo, coach. Ramdam din ang pressure dyan, eh. Boyet hit a three earlier. Tend to shoot. Sa pool. Ah. Again, the full denial. And that's Mastelero trying to deny Castro the basketball. So, pinit kumakawala itong si Castro. Castro now with his second personal foul. And minsan dyan, coach, ano? Pumapasok din yung frustration, yung init ng ulo. Ayun nga, Mastelero getting hit there. Three twenty-seven to go. Oh, well, J.I. Castro, criteria two, excessive hard contact. Unsportsmanlike foul called against Castro. I believe for excessive contact. Dun sa kanilang exchange or sa kanyang uh, kiskisan with Mastelero. And Coach Eugene Tan is explaining to the referee, Paano kakawala yung player ko kung parang naka-cage? Yun yung pinabasa ko lang sa minomuestra niya. But then again, it has been whistled. They are a beleaguered team right now. But they have to respond positively. Yes. We have an eternity of basketball, a full quarter ahead of us. But again, De Guzman continues to sizzle. They had seven points to start the third. I mentioned that he needed to take over. And look at that, Kasaysayan challenging the shot of Almerol. Alam mo, sa bilang ko, lima na ang sopalpal nila. Talagang every shot, ano, coach? Oo, oh, tapal talaga. Young legs. Fresh legs. My goodness. Five blocks by the count of Coach Ronnie Magsanok here. Kasaysayan. Cross court to Silva. Silva. Nothing there. Salupada secures the board. Almerol has to help out offensively. Bautista. Look at the Guzman. Castro inside and it's good. Pastelero lost his footing. That freed up Castro momentarily. Castro now with a team best 16. But only his first basket here in the third. 59-47. 12 point lead here for the food masters. Bola ngayon na. Ang mga nakaputi. 
A good fake by Silva. Back inside to Mastrero. Traveling. Two minutes and three seconds to go here in the third quarter. At patuloy yung balasa dito, Coach. I see Sean Ko coming in. Kasi nga, may iksi yung rotation eh. Hindi mo pwedeng hindi pahinga. Pero maganda ang nabigay ni uh, Silva ng minuto, no? For Sean to lalo be able to rest. Lalo yes. sa, lalo sa <laughs> Regalado, chipping in. Pero alam mo, Chiki, mas kina ganito kalaki yung lamang at yung tema ng laro ay pabor sa Foodmasters. We just can't count out the Cavaliers. Kasi yes. veterano eh. Sana yan. Sana yung aggression. Very resilient. Wow. But I've been mentioning this coach kasi Sayan is doing a little bit of everything. Pati sa pag uh, si set up ng mga plays. It's a one-track mind. Tunnel vision para sa kanila. Which is just beat AFP and get to the finals. This is making something out of nothing. Good cut by Sean Cole, making himself available for that drop. Shot knocked down to 12. Regalado couldn't get it to drop. EJ Oops. lost it, picked up by Boyan. The pass to Mark. That's a dangerous foul, and they will review that. Oh. That's a dangerous foul. He didn't mean to. Uh -uh. Ang, ang tingin ko ng coach, gusto ng pombreno ni Julius eh. Pero, uh, unforced turnover leading to this. Pero magkadikit na sila. Ayun no? So we'll... Let's wait for the official announcement ng ating Barker. Upon review, unsportsmanlike foul on number 73, Julius Kasaysayan. Criteria 2, excessive hard contact. Second personal foul. So, unsportsmanlike foul, criteria 2, excessive contact. Against Julius Kasaysayan. Mark hits the first one. Crucial free throws here. One yes. minute and one second in the third. Yon, mahalaga yon, coach for AFP. And if they are down by a single digit deficit heading to the fourth, that's a good headway for them. And if they can do that with Cordero, Cordero. on the bench, may babalikan si Darwin. That's right. Boyet against Marlon. Shot lock at 7. Dalawang veterano ito. Bautista. 4 to shoot. Kicks it out. And oh. nice set up by Boyan. Match needed basket. Mars needed basket. Shot on the arm for Almeral's confidence bank. But more than that, they're back in the hunt. Deep. From higher 14, just down to 7. Kasaysayan, can he take it back? Wala. Laban sa rebound. Kasaysayan goes in. Mastelero lost it. Kalau for three. Book it for Marlon Kalau. That's a killer. Mastelero once again, tremendous double effort. Just like that, lead back to double digits. Eight seconds in the third. Bautista. Almeron hit the three earlier. He'll go again. Kalau has it. And the third quarter will end. With a 10-point lead for DA, but more than that, nagkaroon ng banggaan between Castro and Mastelero. And players who are on the bench cannot go in. I have to admire the coaching staff ng DA. Tumayo agad sa ano eh. No matter what, but uh -oh. I saw some players inside. Ooh, right smack on the kiss. Okay, right okay. Tuloy lang natin. I-roll lang natin. Oh, I-roll so lang natin. Wag muna natin kakatin. Tignan natin ang mangyayari from the bench.
So we'll try to show it again to make sure makita lang natin kung meron bang pumasok from the bench apart from what we already saw na It's okay. Third quarter is done. 10 uh -oh. point lead here. Wala na. Tapos nang pumasok eh. But I saw several white shirts inside. Ito coach. That was the hit. Then there was the buzzer. Oh yes. Oh nga, no, Silva was able to come in but na itulak pa atras but then again we'll check if that will be reviewed. Okay, we'll take a quick break. Agri up by 10 before we start the fourth. Sportsmanlike foul on number 12, J.R. Castro. Criteria 2, excessive hard contact during interval of play. That's his second unsportsmanlike foul. Number 12, J.R. Castro, out of the playing court. Oh, wow. That is a big blow for the Cavaliers. They have uh, called an unsportsmanlike foul on Castro. Criteria 2, but more than that, that's a second type of uh, foul and he has been their best player all throughout this game only missed two attempts 16 points pero only two points in the it third quarter second, oh. Oh, kasi nga di makahawak di makatira at hindi ka pwede mawala sa sarili and that was a, a huge blow there coach dahil that infraction happened as we were winding down the third quarter and uh, you and I were both saying on the AFP side, kung kayang mag -run, keep it at a good distance para may babalikan si Darwin Cordero. Meron nga siyang babalikan. Ang problema, yung kanyang katuwang is already out. The Guzman needs to hit this next free throw. These are three points that AFP is giving up. Just a different level player, itong si De Guzman. 18 points. But he has a lot of help today. From Shanko, from Julius Casaysayan, from Ian Garrido, from Marlon Calao, and then Pastelero, Silva, and Comerciase also doing their part. We start with an 11-point lead. Fourth quarter with an 11-point lead for the Agri, 65-54. Tama si, tama si De Guzman. So we start the fourth. Bola po ng uh, DA Foodmasters. Lamang sira ng labing isa. Ito yung labing isang mahirap habulin. Ah, mabigat na yan. Oo, oh, medyo, no? Ang bigat yung trust ni Kalaw, eh. Oh, that's a gets foul. a rebound. What Shanko is doing is trying to apply the haymaker. Kaya dun siya kumakana from the three ball. Uh -oh. Pero sa ganitong klase ng laro, kailangan pa jab jab right cross ka muna. Left uh, straight. Di ba yung uh, counter punch, counter punch muna. Julius missing the first of two free throws. What masters, 77 free throws. Cavaliers, apat. You have to make your free throws right now. Kasi may balik itong EFP. Ayan si Cordero. Dar is back. Should have been a 13-point lead. Instead, instead, it stays at 11. Salupado. Down low to Cordero. Shot back at 8. Against si Guzman. But then again, they lost it. Picked up here by EJ. EJ dropping it off to Kalao. And that's a bucket. Right there, so close. 
its own here was regalado. Instead, it's a 13-point lead para sa Food Masters. Mark against Sean. Inside the Cordero, that's a bucket two for Darwin. Losing vision was the Guzman. And Cordero made him pay. Two points in the first, two points in the second, two points in the third. First basket here in the fourth for a grand total of eight points. Kick out by Kalau. Ajong. Too strong. Cordero will try to push it. Cordero attacks. Gets his own miss. Oh, he's trying. He's really trying. That's good defense coming from Wong. Defending without fouling after the Guzman was beaten. Regalado sits down. Jeff Kiambao comes in and Gary did po si Ian Garrido. No team has been able to defend a UNTV crown yet. Samantala, we were looking for Admiral Coach. That's good news here. Para dito sa team ng uh, AFP. 67-58, just a nine-point lead for the Food Masters. Kanilang bola, they rotated. Kasi Sayan at the corner. Kalaw on top. Shot clock at six. De Guzman. Nothing on the J. The rally is on for the AFP. Extra pass. Salubando sinks it. Down to six. Down to six. Just a two possession lead here. Paladito sa foot masters. Or down to seven. They have to hit their free throws. But they were not able to do so. He started the quarter 65 54. Six points para dito sa AFP. Oops. But the call will be made. Laban sa Cavaliers. A warning ba? Tinapu natin sa ating pagbabalik. Assistant coach Eugene Dan for unsportsmanlike behavior. A warning has been thrown to assistant coach Eugene Dan for unsportsmanlike behavior. In the meantime, we'll turn you over now to Rina for this report. Yes, Chiki, you mentioned earlier, Ramdam ang pressure. That is so true for the AFP team right now in this fourth quarter. What they want is to stay in the game and focus harder. Do not mind the calls of the referees as mentioned by their coaching staff and play their fourth quarter best here. What must be done here is to deny the DA team of easy access near the baskets and stopping them from getting rebounds here. Dun sa kabilang side naman po tayo, update naman po tayo kay Brian Mastalero. He has a bump no, dun sa kanyang jaw area dun sa kanina nga from J.R. Castro but uh, the good thing is that he has no bleeding no swelling and uh, will be back in action for the team of the team Chiki back Maraming salamat Rina good news indeed at dito naman Ian Garrido making good use of his height Oh Cordero hits a three First time that Cordero hits two baskets in a quarter total of 11 points but more than that umakit na kanina sa siyang bumaba na muli sa anim after Garrido's conversion and a reply of a three ball coming from Cordero. Under seven minutes left to play. Drop pass to Paul. He lost it at the baseline. With hands coming from Boyd Bautista. Defense on Cordero has to be at a high level because he is now taking over. Sean Cole taking on Dark Cordero. Asking for a screen. Gets it from Kimbao. Cordero drops it off to Jeff, and that bucket is good, plus a bonus free throw. The pressure is on. Ang agang nakabalik ng Cavaliers, kaya sinasabi ko kanina kasamang Chiki, they had to hit those free throws. Yeah. Yung miss free throw sa'yo, ang coach, ano, sisingiling ka niyan eh. Tatlo yun. Sana, meron pa silang pitong puto sa kalamangan. That's right. And Tiambao, the veteran, hits the bonus free throw, and we have a totally different ball game. Now let's see how the Foodmasters will respond. Timeout situation, isa sa Foodmasters, tama ba yan? 
Dalawa sa Cavaliers. Shanto at the corner. Bango! Wala ka na magagawa ron. Big basket by Shanto. Has missed five three-point attempts, but there's an important one. Big basket. Big, big basket for Shanko. Ganda nung ball room movement din, coach, eh, no? Kanina pa naman siya nakakatira, eh. Pero yeah. kanina, mas may bantay. Ito, na late ang closeout. Back to a six-point lead for the TA, 72-66. Ko, sticking like glue to Cordero. Another screen. Cordero, open for that J. He hits it again. Garido making that mistake of leaving Cordero open. You can't guard two people. Uh -uh. You have to choose one. And he was right in front of Cordero, but he went back. He took a Kiambao. Garido missed it. Cordero will push it. Oh, but he lost it to De Guzman. Good hard nose play coming from De Guzman. Of course, Johan's telling Kalos to push the basketball. Kalos does otherwise. And what I noticed, coach, is that every time the Guzman has that ball, ididik-dik niya pala o ba? That is the right thing to do. Lakas ng katawan eh. But again, you have to make your free throws. Uh -oh. And he took it straight to uh, Jeff Kiambao. This time he sinks the first. Recently in the top three among our best players this season 10. Itong si De Guzman. Second one is also good. For the foot masters to come out on top here in the fourth. De Guzman and Shango have to join forces. While Cordero has to get more support. 5.13 remaining in the game. Salupano for three, short. Kala will push. Grabe yung tension, ano? Feel na feel talaga, coach, eh. Garido. Tap goes to Bautista. It's gonna be a four and three break. Admiral for three. Wala. Look at Mastelero. Backing out Salupano. De Guzman over the outstretched arm of Kiambao. I'm feeling ko nga, cramps na siya eh. Yun na nga, Coach, oh. Nagka-cramps siya. Nakita ko naninigas na yung puff muscle eh. That shot that he took, yung huling-huli, yan ang recipe for cramps. Hindi <laughs> na siya bumaba actually eh. But he has given his team another 8-point lead, but... Let's see how they will be able to relax that calf muscle because definitely that's tightening up. And on the other side, coach, anong gagawin ng AFP to capitalize on the Guzman's absence? Bautista! Another Wala. big stop. 4.22 remaining in the game. 8-point lead here for DA. Shot knocked down to 13. Garido na wala ng bola. Salupano. Oh! He recovers. Down to Cordero. Lots of time on the clock. Salupano in the corner. Three ball is short again. Look at Mastanero. Again. Kasaysayan on the other end. Mastanero. Just finding ways to help. Locking out, staying home, diving for loose balls. Eh, malaki yan eh. Oh, malaki yan. And he's really sacrificing his body. Kita ko na yung tira, coach. Yung kuling tira ni Mark. May pagod na eh, no? Short na on the, on the release. Saka yung pressure. Iba yung nagahabol, iba yung lamang. Uh Oo. -oh. Other miss free throw. Nine miss free throws para sa kanila. 76-68, eight-point lead for the men in white. They'll take that. AFP calls it second to the last timeout. One timeout left. 
Para dito sa Agri, one time out left para sa Cavaliers. The defending champions, down by nine, they give it the point. Jepoy! Darwin! Alme! Tingin, ah, tingin, tingin. Pagbigay, first tayo, ah, Boyet. Mark. Pagbigay kay Jepoy. Mark, ano, Alme, backdoor ka kagad. Darwin, kunin mo. Kunin mo kay Jepoy. Jepoy! Punta ka dito. Kunin mo lang. Down screen tayo na maganda. Alme, ang libre, tira, ha. Pagka wala, Darwin. Pag wala, Darwin. Di wala ka pa namang, ano, atakihin mo, nandun si Boyet. Pero pag libre si Alme, tignan mo, ha. Okay? Isang maganda na lang. Kunti na lang yan. Kunti na lang yan. Masyut, makuha natin to. Didikit tayo. Kuha natin to. Patagal pa. Patagal pa. Ang oras po na nalalabi dito sa ating huling semifinals match. Tatlong minuto, apat na, apat na segundo lamang ng siyam. Sila Ian Garrido, the rest of the DA Food Masters. Ano ang panagot dito ng AFP? Abangan po natin. After timeout play, very important, especially at this juncture of the game. Cordero, tanga ng bola. And look at Mastelero extracting another offensive foul. And again, getting hit on the face. I but that, that was just a regular foul. Because the down screen is si ano eh. to Jeff. Oh. oh. Let's see what they will see. But Kiambao is still on the floor holding on to that right knee. Hope he is okay. Dinan mo yan yung play. Hand off, tapos spin down. Sa pool. Oo. Sa pool si Pastelero sa kalimang bahagi ng muka. Ito. Second personal ah, extension. Another big stop here para sa food masters. 3.33 remaining. Ilan na lang ito kanina? Tatlo? Kuha ba ng tatlo yan, coach? Tatlo. Tapos tumama si Shanko. Bumuwa ng tatlo, tumawa si Shanko. Ayun. Kaya ang mga tulit. And then series of points ang nangyari. At ngayon, siyam na para kay Ko. Ang kalamangan. Ayun na. Ayun. <laughs> ang gulo mo. <laughs> Pero magsano. Sean goes in. Dropping it off to Garrido. Will this be the final push of the AFP? We'll find out. Cordero gets a screen. Open for that three. They need this one. And he hits it. Just an excellent basketball player, really. How many times are they supposed to be done and over with? No more Castro. Salopado has struggled, but Cordero is still there. Now with a total of a game-best 16 points. Kalau, can he take it back? Salopado, sky high for that rebound. 77-71. Two and a half to go here in the game. Cordero. Stops it off. Took him out. It's first and eight with breaks that play again. AFP. Pero ito na si Guzman. Di Guzman. Pag di ina na coach, ano? Ha? But good minutes provided by Pastelero. Yes. Watch out for Cordero. Salupado decides to go in. Wala. Kambao. He scores. Down to four. 77-73. Salupado fighting tooth and nail. AFP not giving up. Five-point run generated by Cordero and Salupado. They go down low. We are in the twilight zone. Galido creating space. Call. Will he make it? Voila. Picked up by Dar. Cordero on the move. Cordero goes in. Cordero challenged. De Guzman will push. He'll go all the way. No. Nope. Out of control, really. No need to rush. Kakastap lang nila. They're gonna go to Jeff. Shot knocked down to 14. Hey, AFP na kami na ng basket dito. Shot knocked down to 8. Wow. Oh, it goes off the leg of Kiambao. Good rotation coming from Kasaysayan. Reading the two-man game extremely well. Forcing. The turnover. Excellent defensive stand coming from Kasaysayan. 
preserving a four-point lead. Crucial possession for the Food Masters. Oops. That's been two free throws. On that point, Bautista foul. Number eight, Boyan Bautista. Point personal. Fourth personal foul on Boyan. Two free throws going the way of EJ De Guzman. Corderas managed to stay afloat even with four personal fouls. Kanina pa, di ba? Maaga pinaw po yan nung ano, third quarter coach. First is good for De Guzman. Six of seven from the line. Pangalamang free throw ni EJ. Also good. And that gives DA a six-point lead. 79-73. Cordero falls down on the floor. Possession stays with the Cavaliers as possession arrow points towards them. Might have tweaked that right foot. Let's take a look at that last sequence. Ayon. <laughs> Ay, natapakan niya. Ay, oo nga. So, tama nga sakto sa paanihation. Nako! Turnover for the Black Shirts. Back Under pass by Boyd Bautista. Under a minute left to play. Big defensive play by Garrido. No need to take an early shot. May luxury at white shirt. Sumunog ng segundo. Garrido is wide open. Oh, and they give up a foul. With only 5.3 remaining on the shot clock. First the turnover. And then giving up a foul. Earlier, they gave up two free throws. Para dito kay De Guzman. Uh -uh. Now, Kalaw hits them again with a converted free throw. Also, big game para kay Marlon Kalaw. Now, Coach, this is in spite of Agri missing nine free throws, ha? Kalain mo, no? Could have been... Uh, Ang bigat tong tinira ni Shanko na tres, yun, eh. Yun, eh. Yung corner. And the steady Marlon Kalaw putting the final touches probably in this game, coach. Let's listen in. For the Cavaliers, beleaguered at this stage. Juan! Boyet! Alme! Chepoy! Rospika! Mark, umulitin ko! Sa ibabaw ka dumaan! Sa ibabaw! Sa ibabaw! Punta ka na dito, Mark! Jepoy, Darwin, Darwin, Jepoy, Alme, Bipin, Bakpik kay Boyet, okay, Bakpik kay Boyet, Bakpik kay Boyet, David, takin mo na Madiin, 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 Jepoy, dive, wow, go, go, go. We all heard. Eugene Dan Nakumokrok is done Probably the final push here Subok but Tall Mountain to no? Definitely the final push kasi wala na silang timeout Wala na Pangalawa eh. under a minute na lang ito If they hit the three ball then Let's see Ang problema wala sa penalty ang kalaban At sila nasa penalty na They're looking for Cordero Mark was blocked at the corner. That's six blocks. Six blocks. Hindi apat yan. Hindi tatlo yan. Definitely six yan. Dami mo nakita, di ba? Yes. Yes. Ito pa, isang block. Oh. Ito rin. But what a way for the food masters to stay ahead since the first quarter. Kasi lumaban naman yung AP. Bumalik. Kumabol, kumayod. You pointed out 69-66, di ba? 69-66. 69-66. Down three na lang. About six minutes left. And then that dagger of a three by Sean Ko at the corner. Para sa akin, that was the biggest basket. Di ba? Yun yung nag-start ulit nung run nila eh. Kalaw hit some crucial threes. Oh my goodness. 
kasi pagka-block kay Salubado, nag-agawan sila sa baseline ito, Kojo. And then, yun. And the Foodmasters, kasamang Chiki, oh, yeah. will get to the finals. And we will have a brand new champion here in Season 10, no matter what happens. SSS Kabalikans will meet the DA Foodmasters in the Season 10 finals. That will happen on March 26. 11.3 seconds to go. Show of sportsmanship there from Marlon Kalau. Just dribbling the time away in the shot clock. Boyet will try one more la uh, one more time. He hits a three. 81-76. Not enough firepower today. Para kay Boyet Bautista. Now they're double checking if it's uh, on the foot of Boyet or on the foot of Julius. Pinaratin yon with 5.4 seconds remaining. So it's on the foot of Boyet. And Sean will dribble this one out. And that will be our final score, Coach Roni. 81-76. But more than the winning margin, DA Foodmasters, they booked the final seat in the finals. Never came easy. No. Against the four-time UNTV Cup champions. Tough. But somebody had to win. And the Foodmasters took this game away from the Cavaliers. And they will be rewarded with their first ever final stint in the history of their participation in the UNTV Cup. Hats off to the Cavaliers who gave their all to try and defend their crown. But today, we see the rise of some new heroes here in the person of the Guzman and the oh, rest yeah. of the Foodmasters, Kusama and Chiki. And they are celebrating <laughs> in the middle of the court. We'll turn you over now <laughs> Pao, to Miss Serena. Wow, Chiki. <laughs> Thanks, Serena. Maraming salamat sa inyo, Sir Chiki Reyes and Coach Ronnie Magsano, our best players of this ball game from the DA Foodmasters, EJ De Guzman and Ian Garrido. Hats off, of course, to the AFP Cavaliers. Of course, they will still have a chance to do sa ating battle for third. But for the best players, unang tanong ko kay uh, EJ De Guzman kanina ang sabi mo, underdog mindset. Pagdating sa finals ba, it's still the underdog mindset kasi pareho namang kayong newbies ng SSS Kabalikat going into the finals round. Yes, underdog kami kasi number one sila, number two kami. Pero given that mindset, doon namin ipapakita kung gano'n namin kung gusto manalo at makuha yung season 10 na trophy. So expect nila sa amin. Kagaya ng ginawa namin today, bibigay namin lahat para sa championship, para sa DA. Going into the finals, thinking about it, mas na-pressure ka ba o mas excited ka? Excited ako, excited. Uh, kasi first time ng SSS, first time din namin. So parang new experience sa amin lahat sa DA. Alright, babalikan kita para sa greetings mo. We now go to Ian Garrido. Ian, you're one of the go-to guys. Finals. How do you feel that you're entering the finals? Isa ka sa mga naging go-to guy ng DA Foodmasters. Sobrang masaya kasi ang goal namin, uh, final four muna. Pero ngayon, nakarating kami ng final. So, lalong mas thankful kami. Alright, ikaw ba? Tatanungin kita ha. Mas excited ka ba? O mas sa tingin mo mapapressure ka going into your first game against the SSS Cavalica? At pareho kayong baguhan dun sa ating finals round. Ah... Uh, Mas lamang yung excited ako. Pero may pressure din kasi final sen eh. Alright, maraming salamat sa ating best players of course. Uh, mga gusto mong batiin at pasalamatan para sa laro nito, Ian. Una-una, uh, magpa nagpapasalamat kami sa big boss namin, kay Boss Walter, siya warm up. Kay Boss Coco Lynn, kay Boss Big, big Boy na laging nandyan para sa amin. Lahat ng kailangan namin. Tapos, uh, binabati ko yung mga boss ko sa basketball. Cloud Garage, Boss Anjo. Uh, Red Feather Game Farm, uh, Dala Family ng Lusena, uh, 
Kabuatan family ng, ng Lukban, Mayor Rusko Plaza ng Nasipit. Uh, mama ko, ma mahal kita ma, mga ate ko. Thank you. Maraming salamat sa'yo, Ian Garido. Now we move on to EJ De Guzman, mga naging inspiration mo to be able to reach the finals round. Pasalamatan mo na sila. Una-una, thank you kay Lord na binigyan kami ng protection and guidance para manalo. Pinabati ko po yung anak ko, laging dapat nauna si Yela, asawa ko si Izel, si Yael, si Mama, si Barney, si Kuya, si Ika, parin Joe Ward daw. Binabati ko rin yung team ko si, ano, sa CW Home Depot, ng champion kami kagabi, kila Boss Kento. Tsaka sa coach namin si, si Coach, Coach Hen, All Switch. Yun lang, thank you. Alright, maraming salamat sa ating best players of this ballgame, EJ De Guzman and Ian Garrido. Thank you. 